Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math, and today we're learning about add and subtract rational expressions. Minute Math, Minute Math, when you need help you use Minute Math. So adding and subtracting rational expressions can be tricky. One thing we want to do, or we come into issues sometimes actually, when we don't have the same denominator, okay? So let's see an example here, four. We're going to add these two expressions. 5 over x plus 6 over y. And if you remember adding and subtracting fractions in the past with just numbers, we had to find a common denominator here. And so this common denominator is trying to find basically how can we adapt both parts here to have the same denominator. So I'm going to show you a trick, and that is, you can guess it, smashing that like button. It helps us make more videos here. Shameless plug. All right, back in here. So how can we adapt this? We know that we can multiply a number by one and it doesn't change it. So how can I multiply both parts here by an adaptation of one to have the same denominator? Because currently we have x and y. We can't add it like that. Watch this. I'm going to separate this out a little. 5 over x plus 6 over y. We have an x here and a y here, and that's our denominator for each one. If, they, if we can combine it somehow and have an xy denominator, then we can add these two expressions. If I multiply the first one by y over y, what happens? The denominator becomes xy, and the numerator becomes 5y. This side here, I multiply by x over x, same thing happens. We have y times x, or xy, and then 6 times x. Notice, y divided by y is 1, and x divided by x is 1 as well. And that allows us to adapt this expression so we have a common denominator, and that's really the goal here. Okay, And how I got that, I looked at the two denominators and say, how can I basically do something like this, multiply a number over itself, in this case a variable over itself, to get a common denominator. So now we have 5y over xy plus 6x over, let's rearrange it, xy. And now we have a common denominator, so we just have to bring it together. We have 5y plus 6x over xy, and there we have our answer. Now some people will rearrange and have x come first at the top and have 6x plus 5y. It's really up to you. But our answer, 5y plus 6x over xy. So now let's learn how to subtract. Let's do another example. Number five here. We have 6 over x squared plus 4x plus 4 minus 2 over x squared minus 4. Okay? So this is the same concept as before, but it's a little harder, and we're subtracting. Okay? But we still have to find a common denominator here. Well, when I, when I see stuff like this, I always think it's great to factor as soon as possible. So we have 6 over, the denominator can factor to be, well, it's actually x plus 2, all squared. And on this side here, it's going to be an x plus 2 and an x minus 2. Okay? And so what can, what can we do here now to multiply, maybe find a common denominator here? Well, we have x plus 2, and we have two of them, x plus 2, x plus 2. We have one of them here. We have an x minus 2 here. If I can bring an x minus 2 to this denominator, and another x plus 2 to this denominator, we would then have a common denominator. So now I'm getting my formula, basically bringing it all together. So let's rewrite it and show that step. And I'm going to um, write it like this. So remember, squared means there's two of them here. I'm going to multiply this by x minus 2 over x minus 2. Subtraction here, we have 2 over x plus 2 times x minus 2, and we multiply it again by an x plus 2 over 
x plus 2. So now we have a common denominator, x plus 2 squared times x minus 2, right? There's two of them here. So it's x plus 2 squared and then x minus 2. So <clears throat> let's see what we can do. Let's make a common denominator. So I'm going to put it here. And that's just x plus 2 squared times x minus 2. But the numerator, let's, make sure, let's distribute this out before we do any subtraction here. 6x here. We have 6x. 6 times minus 2 is a minus 12. Minus both parts, 2 times x is a 2x. And remember, we distribute that minus sign to both parts. So we have 2 times 2 is 4, but we subtract that. We have minus 4 here. Now we just have to combine our like terms. Okay, so let's do fit that here. Uh, 6x minus 2x in the numerator is a 4x. And we have minus 12 and a minus 4 is a minus 16 over the denominator, which is just x plus 2 squared and x minus 2. But wait, we're not done. We can still simplify the numerator a little, and I'll fit it right down here. We can pull out a 4, right? 4 goes into 16. So we have 4 here times x minus 4 over the denominator x plus 2 squared times x minus 2. And now we are done. So now we have learned how to add and subtract rational expressions. If you found this video helpful, please hit the like button down below and subscribe to our channel. This helps us make more videos for viewers like you. And as always, thanks for watching. Minute math, minute math, when you need help you use minute math.